All right, in this lesson, we're looking at calculating specimen size and some microscopy skills. So three specific skills. We are looking at calculating total magnification, converting between our relevant units, and calculating actual size and magnification using our scale bars. All right, nice and easy to start with. Firstly, we're looking at total magnification. We have a formula for that. So we've got the total magnification is the eyepiece magnification multiplied by the objective lens. Now, remembering that this down here is the objective lens and this is our eyepiece. Now, our eyepieces are generally by 10. So if I have the by 40 magnification objective lens, my total magnification will be my 10 multiplied by my objective lens of 40, therefore giving us a total magnification of 400 times, or sometimes you see times 400, either is acceptable. All right, our next skill, we are converting between our relevant units. Now we're looking at really, really tiny units here. And so even though we're used to working with centimeters and millimeters, we now have to convert to micrometers or micrometers and nanometers. And you can see that the scale there is a thousand times smaller. So there are 1000 micrometers in uh, a millimeter and 1000 nanometers in one micrometer. So if we needed to go between say big units to small units, say in this case centimetres to millimetres, so the bigger unit converting down to the smaller unit, we need to do a multiplication. If we do the opposite and we are going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, so small to big, excuse the messy handwriting, this is when we have to do a division. Okay, so let's have a practice. We've got a few here. We've got 10 micrometers to millimeters. Now here's our scale over to the right. And we know that we are going from a smaller measurement to a larger measurement. So we are going to do a division. And we know that there are 1000 micrometers in the millimeter measurement there. So we're going to be dividing by 1000. So it will be 10 divided by 1,000, which will give us a nice total of 0 0.01. Okay, same thing over here. We are going with nanometers to micrometers. So we're going from a small to a big. So we're doing that division again. We know there are 1,000 nanometers in the micrometers, so we're going to be dividing by a thousand. So this time we've got two divided by a thousand and we are going to get 0 0.002. Okay, next one, we are going from millimeters to micrometers, which means we are going from a unit that is bigger down to the smaller unit, which means we are doing a multiplication sum this time. So we are going to have to go 0 0.6 times and we know that there are 1000 micrometers in a millimeter so times 1000 and that's going to give us 600 oh, yep 600 better stop there okay our next skill we are calculating actual size or magnification using some scale bars. Now, this is a really easy formula. If you can remember, it's the I am triangle. That's what I call it, where I stands for the image length. M, nice and easy, stands for our magnification. And A stands for the actual length of the object. Okay, let's go actual length. And that means if you're looking at something down a microscope, then you've obviously got a magnification on. You can draw it on your page, and that's the image length, right? The length of the image that you drew, but the actual size of it's going to be very different. So how we calculate that is going to take two steps. The first thing, here we go, here's my lovely drawing, my diagram from the microscope, and I've got a scale bar here. And this scale bar is telling me that this tiny little thing, which I'm going to measure with an actual ruler, is 10 millimeters is representing 0 0.5 millimeters in real life, okay? So this one here is our image length of our scale bar, and this one here will be our actual. So the very first thing we have to do is work with our scale bar and we have to calculate magnification. Now we use this triangle here by saying, well, if we're trying to find M, then we have to look at the I and the A as a fraction. So M is equal to I divided by A. 
Right, we can do that by saying, well, our image length over here of our scale bar is 10 millimeters, and that is representing 0 0.5 millimeters. Now note how my units are exactly the same. Okay, that's a really important point. All right, 10 divided by 0.5 gives us 20. So my uh, magnification is only times 20. And now we need to look at the object, and that is our second step, O for object. And what we're trying to do is calculate A for actual length. Now if we try and circle this one, this time what's left in the triangle is I divide M. I divide M. So we've got an image length, which is this here, and I've measured it to be 4.5 centimetres. And we know that the magnification was on by 20. Now let's actually change this. Let's get rid of that and say, well, we don't want 4.5 centimetres. We want 45 millimetres, because that's probably a better thing to be measuring our object in. All right, 45 divided by 20 is going to give us, let me check, 2.25 millimetres, which seems like an accurate type of thing to be needing to use a microscope to look at. So there's a few skills there that we need to practice during class.